Hey everybody, it's Buddy Eric, and this is Anonymous 5 for November 18th, 2019. I'm really, really, really um, out of schedule on this, so I just, like, I was just, like, awake, and I was able to, like, I could have done it yesterday and Saturday, I just didn't. And fr Friday, my excuse for Friday was I woke up pretty late. Like, Friday I just woke up kind of late, and I was just like, ugh. And so, like, and then I got home, and then I went to Friday Night Magic, which was fun. I got to play Pioneer, and um, then Saturday I went... Um, to a one o'clock tournament, which I should have been able to do, but I woke up a little bit late, and I wanted to get there early to sell some stuff, and um, they had already bought um, a lot of the stuff that I was going to sell, so some of the prices already dropped, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Um, but I still sold some stuff, some money, got some money. Um, saw a friend who was selling out of the game. That's unfortunate. The personal reasons, um, you know, that was unfortunate. But you know, um, you know, I picked out some stuff from him that I thought, you know. Like I'd give them, you know, a slightly better deal than, um, it's kind of just like, I want these cards, I want to get these cards, and, you know, I could give him more money than the, they would give them, and, you know, we'd all win, you know, less, you know, I always try to go, like, a little bit between what stores buy it for and, um, you know, what they sell them for, right? So, you know, everyone wins, and, um, all that kind of stuff, and then, uh, I did pretty well in the Pioneer Tournament, actually. I got top four. Um, we split top four because it was really late. It was really late by the time it was top four. And um, afterwards, talking with the guys, um, except for one other person. So, like, there was my opponent, and he was on... I was playing the Kethis combo, which I really want to find a name for. If this doesn't get banned out of Pioneer, I th one, I'm probably going to stick to that deck because it's so cool. Two, um... I actually think it's really what would have to be banned for it to, like, suck would be... Um, Teferi. Teferi would make it really hard for it to play. Um, Mox would kill... Well, Mox would kill the deck. Kethis would obviously kill the deck. And Mox and um, Kethis would kill the deck. Emery being gone would really hurt the deck. Um, and um, Teferi would make it weaker. Um, but I think it's pretty I think it's pretty powerful deck still. Um, I was obviously still a little sloppy because I was just Getting, getting used to Pioneer format, everything's up in the air with that thing, but it was, it was really, I felt like it was a really good deck, and I think felt like it was going pretty well. Um, but anyway, my opponent would have been, uh, my top four opponent would have been on, um, on, um, um, a Sultai food deck, Sultai mid-range, and, um, I was crushing those decks all day, like, any of those mid-range decks I was just crushing, because it's like, at some point they just would tap out or something and it's just like I would just go off and win, right? Like that was the big that was the big thing, like almost every single game won before people knew what deck I was on, right? It was just like they would tap out, like, they would drop like a fatty or something, and I'm like, alright, I win. Um you know, or if they knew what I was on even and they try to help hold up interaction, it's just like, uh, you know, I just try to play around it a little bit and then I drop to fairy and I win, right? So I can see to fairy going because that's really obnoxious, but um, you know, we'll see. So I'm getting back to using this thing. Actually, I actually should be stroking this way. I was, that's what I was told I stroke with. So anyway, so um, the fairy um, was pretty awesome, and that for that reasons, um, you know, um, I did also. This is also a cool thing because um, I play four hope gear, hope, play four hope gear per, because um, it's a legendary, and um, because of the cat, this thing you can cast it for free out of your graveyard. So if you have two of them, so if you have two of them, if you have two of them, and um, Kethis and the uh, Digital Excavator, you can just, um, you know, loop, you know, um, every single time you can, like, when you have two of them, you can loop, you know, you can mill two cards, um, until you get some more moxes or stuff. It's much cheaper to loop that way, right? And if you get some moxes, you loop and build up some mana and stuff like that. This is interesting little ways. But there's also little interesting things, like I was playing against, um, Esper Control, and, um, I turn one, I played a Hope, turn two, I played Emery, and then I played Emery, uh, Mox, and then a, an attack with a hope sacked it, replayed it with Emery, and they like had to pass their turn because they couldn't do anything. Because Hope of Gear is kind of like um, Xanted Swarm, except for it's on their turn too, until your next turn. And so um, you know, they can't cast non creature spells, so it's like, alright, cool. And then I played it to Fairy, and they were kind of soft locked until I just drew into the combo, and then like I just beat them that way. So that was kind of cool. There's little, all these little, intera little neat interactions I'm still figuring out. Um, em like, Emery and, um, like two Emery's and a Mox Amber, or, um, especially if you have two Mox Amber's and an Emery, you know, that's a lot of mill. 
Um, that'll really get you through it. Emery really helps. Like Emery is really good for the deck because it lets you mill a lot, a lot. You can really get you can get the mill going. Um, I was able to like get the mill going to the point where I didn't even need additional excavator. That was one of the things that really hurt the deck. I think in the standard version was like you basically need to get diligent excavator or a um, Lazav copying diligent excavator. So you need two of them to reliably get there. But with Emery and milling four, um, you get two Emerys. And uh, even if you don't have two Mox Opals at the time, you know, you can do something like, um, you know, start start with your mana and, um, you know, cast until you find another Opal or um, anything like that. And there's just so many routes with the deck, which makes it much more interesting. Um, so, really fun deck, and um, that's what I did. So, and then yesterday I just cleaned up around the house and uh, went and had dinner with my girlfriend and uh, we played Pokemon, which is really fun. I'll talk about that in a bit later. But anyway... I'm already almost at six minutes, so hey, I really like this kept this deck, so I hope it doesn't get banned, but if it does, there's other things to buy. Anyway, peace out, have a good one.